This lesson covers Hyper-V snapshots. A snapshot is a point in time copy of a virtual machine. This VM could be running or it could be shut down. This is very useful in development and testing environments to be able to take a snapshot of a virtual machine that maybe has a problem, or maybe you're testing a configuration change or applying a patch. So I can take a copy of the VM prior to the change or prior to the update, perform actions on it, and then roll the VM back to that state of the snapshot. Snapshots should not typically be used in production environments, certainly not on things like domain controllers that have significant problems if you apply a snapshot of a domain controller. Although this has been helped in Windows Server 2012 with the new VM Generation ID functionality that enables a domain controller to actually detect if a snapshot has been applied and then take steps to avoid reusing IDs and breaking replication. But focus on it primarily as a development tool. Taking a snapshot is very easy. Literally select the VM and select snapshot. It will create a point in time view and I can then rename this to whatever I want and I can always apply it at a later point. I can even export that snapshot out and then use it in another virtual environment. I can also do this from PowerShell. Using the checkpoint VM, I can go and create a snapshot. I could then get a list of all my snapshots and then even restore it. So if I just look at the get VM, comment out the rest of that command, I can see the snapshots taken on my virtual machine. And then I could apply one of those. So let's look at an example of that. I have a Windows 8 VM here, and I'm just going to set this as my desktop background. What I'm now going to do is take a snapshot of that virtual machine. So because this is a running VM, it has to do a few things differently. If I go and look at the virtuals folder for that virtual machine, firstly on the hard drive, we talked about differencing disks earlier, and that's exactly what a snapshot is going to do. It's going to create a differencing disk of the future changes. So it's freezing the current view of that VHDX, and all future changes will now be written to this differencing file. Additionally, it's going to dump out the memory of that virtual machine to this binary file. So I now have this snapshot created. I can now go back into this virtual machine, and I'm going to change the wallpaper again. If I now go back to Hyper-V, and I say I actually want to apply, it's going to give me the option, do you want to back up this current view? I don't want that, I'm just going to say apply. It's going to have to stop it. It's going to restore that memory and disk state. So it'll actually go and almost delete, roll back that differencing disk. And now going back to that point in time. That VM will now be back up and running again. And there we go. We can see I have my old background back because I went back to that previous point in time. And then I can easily just delete this snapshot. And it will merge that storage back in. You can see that merge in progress. So that's how easy it is to create and use those snapshots. But again, really think twice about using them in production environments. And these aren't a replacement for a backup. You still need to be forming backups on your virtual machines for that long-term archival and separation from the disks in which these virtual machines are actually stored. So backups are still very, very important.